Hey guys, John here. Today we're in D.Va, and today's patch is going to be one of those typical 90s super saws that we all know and love, and it sounds a little something like this. And you can also play it not necessarily in a chord fashion, but... A lot of interesting ways to play it as well, and the low end is also kind of nice as well. All right, so let's go ahead and make this one. It's actually pretty simplistic to make, which is really, I think, the charm of Diva, right? It doesn't take too much effort to make a really cool sounding patch. So with that being said, let's open up our second Diva here and let's right click a knit just in case. And let's bring this main guy up here like that. Okay, so basically what we're doing, we have the digital oscillator using the high pass filter, the MS-21 on revision one. And then we're using the cascade filter and then both analog envelopes and then for our effects we're using a chorus and a delay so really not too crazy at all we are using three stacks here and we're also panning the stack index which we're going to get to in just a moment okay so with that said let's switch out our first one just in case we didn't do anything so init preset okay so down here go to the digital one and if we look here at our settings we have this first octave to the right it's our first move to make right over here. Now our detune is going to be 25, so we can bring this down like this. And we're not going to notice it yet until we bring this one up. But see, detune 25. We're almost there. 25. Okay. Now for this multi here, if we hover over it, we see that we have a value of 30. So there we go. Let's actually open up our filter for now, just in case, so we can hear everything. Cool, right? So we're actually listening to both of these, right? Because our mix is right here in the center. So if we just went to the left, that's what we're going to be hearing over on this side. So we're doing a blend a little bit of the first one and the second one. So with our mix, we can bring this to 26.5. Something like that. Okay, so for our next one, this tuning is gonna be here at the top here at noon at zero, but we can bring down our detune here at 225.50. And then our multi is gonna be 42. So we're kinda of getting to that area. We can just turn this off just in case. Okay, so we're pretty much done here with our uh, with our oscillator. So next up, we're gonna go to the high pass filter, the bite, which is one of my personal favorites. I really like this one. Okay, so our peak is gonna be zero, no envelope modulation. We're just basically cutting this off at 53.50. <laughs> kind of take away some of that muddiness. I just love how that one sounds. Okay, so next up we have the filter on Cascade. So we can go ahead and switch this over to Cascade. Now our cutoff is gonna be at 132, so we can bring this down. And then our resonance is gonna be at zero. We really don't need it for this type of patch. And the only real modulation that we should, <laughs> I shouldn't have moved that. The only real modulation is gonna be this envelope too. So let's go ahead and look at our envelopes before we start adding some modulation. So both of these are gonna be analog. So we can scroll up once on our mouse wheel to change both of these. Now for the amplifier, this one is gonna be at 17 because if we hit this right, it's so sudden and so kind of just jarring to happen so quick, right? So let's bring this up just a little bit. So the attack's not really <laughs> too strong in our face. Okay, so next up we have our decay and that's gonna be at 50, which is default, sustain all the way at the top, it's fine. And our re um, release is gonna be at 46, so we can bring this up a little bit. Bring our volume down just a bit. 
So this is really kind of up to you for how much of the release that you have. If you're doing kind of like really fast moving notes, then you might want to dial the release down a little bit. But if you're doing kind of chord stabs and you want to kind of take up a lot of space, then I guess leave it at this area or even increase it. But once you go past 50, it gets kind of ridiculous. Okay, so for the second envelope here, our attack is going to be one, which is fine because we're using this one to modulate the cutoff. So the decay is 61 for this guy. So we can bring this up to 61. Sustain is going to be all the way down. And then our release is going to be 51, which is, again, <laughs> quite ridiculous. Okay. So now we have this envelope set up. Now we need to modulate our cutoff with this envelope here. And we're doing it at an amount of 44. So if you hold down that note, we can kind of slowly hear some of those frequencies fading away a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much all we have to do there. So before we get into the effects, I do want to bring your attention to this here. So for this patch, make sure to turn on multi-core. So I should have done this on this one, right? Because this one's going to, it might tax you a little bit, right? So if you look down here on voices, we're going to go 16 voices. So let's go 16 and we're doing a stack of three. So bring this up to three, right? So there's a lot of voices stacked right on top of each other. And this is where we need to start to spread things out a little bit. So here on the amplifier and pan section where it says pan mod, we need to switch this to stack index and go 100%. And generally for Diva, I don't really go 100% only if I really need to. And this is one of those cases where I felt like we really need to. So make sure to select stack index and for this pan mod, bring it all the way to 100 and you'll notice the difference. <laughs> So even just without any effects, it's pretty close to what we're going for. But once you start adding the chorus, the delay, and some external reverb, it's really going to tie everything in together. So for this one, I guess we can bring it something like that. God, I wish my screen was bigger. Anyway, the first chorus is going to be on the classic mode right over here. Our rate's going to be 50. So we can move this like that probably. Our rate's going to be 50 and depth 50 as well. So we can leave these two alone here and then bring down our wet to 50.50. So a lot of 50s in this one. Something like that. And our main output's 36. So let's go ahead and match that at 36 so we can have even volume there. And that chorus makes a huge difference. It almost makes it a little bit wider, but it also almost softens things up a little bit because if we take it off here, it's, it's stereo spread, but it's still kind of static and then it's still a little harsh. Then once we add this, kind of really brings it to life. Okay, so now we go up to the delay. So let's bring up our second delay here. Technically our first, but in the second slot, you know what I'm saying, okay. Uh, so we have dry, which I put it like this here. So our dry is gonna be 100 and our center volume is gonna be 17.50. So quite, quite a lot here, because a lot of this is also playing around with these delays. And then for the next one, side volume is gonna be 25, right? So bring this up a little bit more from default. So that's what we have at the moment. And the high pass is going to be zero and the low pass is 32.5. So we're kind of cranking this quite a lot. So 32.5. And then our feedback for this guy is going to be 28, which is a little bit more than default or something like that here. And our wow, if we look at this here, it's going to be at 50. I kind of generally don't feel like, felt like moving that one too much. So 50 is going to be fine. And then we have our right center. And uh, I guess, so our left is going to be two, right? And our right's going to be two. And then our center is going to be four. So left two on the default, that's fine. The right, let's bring this down to two. And then the center is gonna be four, so that's all we really have to do is just bring a right down to uh, two. So even like that, we can pretty much use it in a track, however, even in the notes here, I always said using external reverb is really going to make this patch shine, right? And it's depending on what you actually use, you're going to find quite a few different results. So with that being said, if we select this track, we have a Valhalla Vintage Verb. And once you start bringing this up here,
But yeah, that's basically how this patch is made in a nutshell. You could do some ARPs with it that might be kind of interesting. So if that were the case, right, we'd select our ARP. Maybe make it a little bit faster, like 1 over 16. So hopefully you understood what I meant earlier. So if we're doing an ARP and doing a lot of notes, it can get cluttered pretty quick. So you might want to re bring down the release, maybe the sustain to kind of play with the decay a little bit. So maybe something kind of like this. But yeah, that's basically how you kind of work that around with an ARP. So yeah, that's pretty much how this sound is made. It takes up a lot of room inside the mix. So you probably will have to use some external EQ and kind of fit it in the track unless you want it to kind of take the center stage for everything, which it kind of tends to do. So yeah, that is this patch. If you would like a copy of this patch, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.